Ah, NCIS. After 17 seasons and the 18th season currently airing, many fans of the show have grown tired of certain characters. It's totally natural for a show that has been on the air for this long to attract some haters. Especially with such a vast amount of writers and actors all working together, it makes sense that some characters will fall flat while others thrive. This series has a very clear set of exactly three characters that fans of the show seem to hate more and more as the show goes on. Keep watching to hear more about these characters and gossip about other show actors. If you are a fan and you are not caught up with the most recent episodes, beware of spoilers ahead. The first character to have attracted a lot of hate on the show is a relatively new character, Dr. Jacqueline Jack Sloan. She plays a psychiatrist on the show, a very standard decision for a cop procedural. Viewers have been complaining for some time about the character's poor writing, stubborn and irritating personality, and the seemingly unconventional job description. One fan was able to put this into words perfectly on Reddit. The stuff with Jack buzzing around trying to get people to talk was ridiculous and further evidence for why her character needs to go. The trope about how cops never want to talk to a shrink about their on-the-job traumas is so tiresome and predictable. We have certainly seen this trope many times in other procedurals like Law and & Order and CSI. Due to the writing of this character, many viewers see her as basically useless to the show. She seems to have been placed in the role simply to be a love interest for Gibbs and incite drama. Even the actor who plays the character, Maria Bello, agreed with this analysis. She was bound by contract to perform for three seasons and offered a chance to renew her contract, and Bello declined. This was reported in July of 2021, though some fans are unaware that her character was coming to an end this season. The most recent episode of this series shows us her tearful goodbye to Gibbs, Mark Harmon, with the writer's decision to write her off the show by having her choose to stay in Afghanistan rather than return to the States with him. I'm done. This is why I want out. This. We chase bad guys, we put them away, and nothing ever changes except for us. Daria risked her life to help me. We're all so twisted we couldn't see that basic act of humanity for what it was. So, call it what you want. Quitting? Running? I don't care. I'm out. I'm done. This emotional scene also brought many viewers to tears, though others rejoiced at this decision. Bello also chose to write her own goodbye on Instagram following the airing of her last episode. She wrote the post in her character's voice, saying goodbye to Gibbs a second time. One thing fans can all agree on, her departure was done beautifully and actually made sense for her character. The next character that seems to incite rage in the audience is Eleanor Bishop, portrayed by Emily Wickersham. This is yet another character whose actor agreed with the decision to leave the show. Introduced in season 11, Bishop has been part of the team for some time, but it does appear that fans did not like her from day one. This seemed to be the case for the hardcore fans, who have been watching since the beginning. Some fans who started watching the show after 10 seasons may like Bishop's character. It seems the root of the problem is the fact that she was meant to replace another character, Ziva, who was popular amongst most fans. Fans who did like Bishop claimed she was a good character and was smart and capable. One user explains this well. I actually loved Bishop. She was quirky and crazy smart. Remember when she used to sit on the floor surrounded by files and make insane connections? This fan surely did not look at Bishop as anything more than a replacement for Ziva. When it comes down to it, it does seem that the general consensus is that Bishop can be boring and bland. The actor also did decide to leave the show, although it is likely that this had more to do with the birth of her first child than how she analyzed her character. The last character that is getting the most hate is Agent Torres, played by Wilmer Valderrama. As is common these days, fans are simply sick and tired of the macho man stereotype. Fans describe this character as egotistic, cocky, and juvenile. Ouch. One fan said, it feels like recently they've flanderized him into being a tool. The previous episode of him acting like he was too cool for games was a bit juvenile. It's an attitude you expect from a 17-year-old. I hope they dial it back with him. Flanderization, for those who haven't heard this term before, is the phenomenon that happens to many television characters after they have been on a show for a very long time. It means the character has been boiled down and reduced to nothing more than their most outrageous personality traits. And it is often used as a term to convey annoyance with the character, the writing, and a desire for the show to treat the character as they used to. This term was created as a way to explain this phenomenon after it happened to a classic Simpsons character, Flanders, who plays the Simpsons' neighbor. There is also the issue that the character seems to be a hybrid of old characters, like Tony and Ziva, which makes him feel flat and unoriginal. Other fans don't like him because of the clothes he wears and the frat boy energy he brings to the show. It seems this is a classic case of poor character writing. Now that we have covered hated characters, it's time to talk about some behind-the-scenes drama from other members of the cast. Most fans will remember Cody to Pablo's character, Ziva David. While she hasn't appeared on the show since 2013, lots of fans still talk about how much they miss her. But did you know that the character was written off the show due to the actor's displeasure with the treatment of her character? Originally, De Pablo only gave her fans a cryptic message about her departure from the series. As far as my decision to leave, that's a personal thing, and I'd rather leave it at that. Leaving NCIS was not planned, so there is no plan. It took several years before the truth finally came out, and when it did, lots of fans rallied around the actress and supported her decision to leave. The actor revealed that she was ultimately disappointed in the quality of 
of the writing and her perception of disrespect that the show gave to her character. Like many great actors, De Pablo had gotten attached to her character, which is not surprising after eight years, and she just couldn't put up anymore with the writer's poor choices and the treatment of her character. Another story revolving around a character's departure is Polly Perrette's Abby Shiudo. When you think of NCIS, this character is sure to come to mind. She was a fan favorite and often used as comic relief. It played perfectly this way, with her quirky personality and infectious humor. The character was written off the show in 2018 after the actor had been in more than 350 episodes. The storyline in the show is that Abby is traumatized by an event in London that nearly costs her her life, and she decides to leave her job and remain in London. However, the actor was leaving in real life because her physical safety was in question. This scary situation began when Mark Harmon, fellow star on the show, brought his dog to work. The dog, Dave, reportedly bit a crew member so severely that the person needed stitches. Harmon was apparently mortified by this and agreed not to bring Dave back to work with him. He soon went back on this promise and brought Dave in another day, citing his lack of a dog sitter. Polly Perrette was afraid of the dog and responded with fury and coldness toward the other actor. Following this incident, Perrette refused to film scenes with or even speak to Mark Harmon. The stress brought on by this was so severe that Perrette made the decision to leave. She also cited having been a victim of multiple physical assaults while on set. She reports that she still has nightmares of Mark Harmon and Dave to this day. Actor of similar series, Rizzoli and Isles, and Shameless, Sasha Alexander started out in television on NCIS as special agent Caitlin Todd. She liked acting, and we now know she would go on to play lots of other roles. She was constantly stressed and exhausted on the set. She reportedly went to the creator of the show and asked for her character to be written off. He describes the meeting to the Chicago Tribune. I had already started writing the last episode of the season and was getting ready to go to Australia to take a little break. Sasha came in two days before I was to leave, and with tears in her eyes, she said, I just can't work this hard. Creator Donald Belisario agreed to write her off of the show immediately, which came as an enormous relief for Sasha. We certainly don't blame her for speaking up, since it does seem like she gave it a good old college try. Other shows are very lucky to have her, and we are so glad she found other environments that were more conducive to her happiness as an actor. For those of you who remember Agent Todd's death, did you ever suspect that it was a request from the actor herself? Finally, the last scandal we have to discuss is a particularly surprising one. Apparently, actor Zoe McClellan, who played Special Agent Meredith Brody, was written off the show because a producer didn't think she was that hot? Yes, you heard that right. The showrunner of the time, Brad Kern, decided he did not like Zoe and wanted her off the show because he did not think she was attractive enough for the role. We won't repeat what the man actually said, but trust us when we say it's pretty deplorable. Who knew there was so much drama on the set of this long-standing series? Do you agree with fans about the most hated characters on the show? Did you know any of the scandals that reportedly took place? Be sure to leave your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all in the next one!